Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Ruby Phoenix Nation of our Solar Legion rising. We have massive waves flowing in from the Most High. We have continued pulses of white light appearing on the Schumann charts again today at amplitudes of 42 hertz, 59 hertz, 69 hertz, 78 hertz, and a massive blast of white light at 96 hertz. Fifth dimensional heavenly codes fully anchoring in as we rise into the new golden age of eternal life. Our local Solaris also continues to flood this realm with gamma plasma waves of adamantine light, releasing another 14 C-class solar flares and 7 M-class flares in the last 24 hours, with the most powerful maxing at M4.02 at 1932 UTC. Pachamama also received another powerful activation today on the Pacific Ring of Fire with a magnitude 5.9 earthquake in Japan at 2238 UTC. The crystalline codes of new creation are pouring in, activating our 12-strand DNA of our Earth Angelic templates as we rise through the Ascension Vortex and into our new Edenic Timeline. The Christosophia consciousness of the Holy Spirit is flowing freely through all living hearts of our starseed earth angelics of the 144. Together we are lighting up the grids, the ley lines, the dragon song lines of Gaia to assist her and all her children of the sun in this great awakening of eternity. Stay in the love and the light of Infinite Source Creator as we rise together, like phoenix and dragon rising from the ashes, into our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine invocation to water. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with divine sister of the light Valerie A. Elster. Along with DNA upgrades, expect an avatar update to the Adam Kadman body, Eve Epigenetics, Orion Original Templates, Source Code. And today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Rick Jewers, Update. An important ascension activation has been initiated by a small group of co-creators to come into more force on April 16th, Linear Time. April 20th linear time will produce more profound confirming divine signs. Purity and full transparency are important essentials for ones going further forward and escaping looping scenarios of unnecessary negative and hindering circumstances. Watch the water. No one can lie nor deceive you. Love and light, Rick. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. April 15th, switching up the energies. We are now in a powerful period of integration and change that I call switching up. We are moving upwards at great speed along the new time spiral. And likewise, those on the downward spiral are moving very fast towards more chaos and collision. The energies are swirling and spiraling as we approach the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in five days. So I have noticed that the ethers are just crackling with electrical energy as Uranus is amplified by the expansiveness of Jupiter. I am having problems with electricity and computers. Also I am feeling a kind of woolly feeling in my head as it seems like the third eye is being impacted strongly by these energies. The Tree of Life is sending out new creation codes, and the Emerald Dragons are implementing them. Nature is literally buzzing with energy. For us, right now, we need to just be in our hearts and stay calm and peaceful. 
we are here to ground the higher energies and codes as we are switching up to higher consciousness and higher expressions of love. Stay grounded and enjoy the ride. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Brother of the Light Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 3, Through the Eyes of a Child. April 15th through the 21st, 2024, Chaos, Innovation, Innocence. No matter who or what we are, we are subject to constant change. When we let that truth in, it's very uncomfortable, at least in the beginning. This gene key is all about the process of letting change in. We have to let it into our heart, body, and soul. This is a contemplation on change. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, and from the Yi Cheng, the classic book of change, Hexagram 3. Difficulty in the beginning. Rain brings thunder. The storm can be fierce, yet brings new life. Innocence is the devotion of awakening. Innovation is the commitment of initiative. Chaos is the half-heartedness of agitation. Communicating Realization. Difficulty indicates progress and success through firm correctness. Action should not be undertaken lightly, and it is wise to seek help. From GeneKeys.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 41524 If you aren't appreciating what April has revealed and given you so far, this is the day to switch sides. Nothing is being done to you, but for you. It's not trying to beat you down. It's strengthening and empowering you. It's not making you vulnerable. It's softening and opening you to more. It might even be showing you darkness so you can know the light. We are in divine territory right now, and nobody said it's a walk in the park. You are being invited to the big time, self-mastery. You are being given tools to build with. Today is for seeing the truth, loving the journey, the opportunity, the person you are becoming, and the incredible inner guidance that's always available. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Ancient Olympia, April 15th, 16th, 2024, The Ignition of the Olympic Flame. The site of the ancient Olympia is directly connected to the portal via which the ruby diamond of quantum continuum with all twelve frequencies and all of their seeds returned back on earth and activated the main motherboard above this realm back on March 23, 2023. The ruby diamond was the beginning of the physical illumination of the self and the reconnection to the inner sun. This is also the portal via which the cosmic trinity flame was ignited last year and the white dove was anchored. Tomorrow, Tuesday, the 16th of April, the ceremony of the ignition of the Olympic flame for the 2024 Olympic Games will take place in ancient Olympia at 11.30 Greece time. This time, the ignition of the solar Olympic flame will take place via the power of the trinity. There is a special esoteric meaning to the essence of the Olympic flame. The Olympic flame will reach Athena on the 26th of April, and then it will be received by the French sailing boat Balen, which will arrive in Marseille on the 8th of May. It will be traveling for 68 days and then arrive in Paris for the opening ceremony of the Olympics on the 26th of July. Everything has changed. May peace bless everyone. Trinity love to all. Eri Ni. From Divine Sister of the Light, Asara Adams. Energy update by Archangel Mikael. Greetings, beloved ones. We are sending you blessings of love and light in this now moment, and we are inviting you to open your heart to our message for you. Beloved one, you are an extension and expression of God. That means that you are a part of God. This part of God is your God mind. You also have a second part within you, which is the ego mind. 
On your path of ascension, you will be able to dissolve the ego mind and its illusions and let it disappear into nothing. In your experience of your ascension journey, you are either experiencing the illusion that your ego mind created or God's true reality, heaven on earth, the new earth, the fifth dimension, which your God mind is leading you to. This is your journey home. You and everyone in your world has these two minds, the ego mind and God's mind. So how do you quiet your ego mind if you wish to ascend? Simply say to yourself, Peace, be still, and know I am God. Peace, be still, is addressing your ego mind. Know I am God is the acknowledgement and reminder that you are in fact a part of God. When you have thoughts about others that are judging or blaming you, you can say to yourself, Peace, be still, and know he, she is God. This is assisting you in remembering that this person is also a part of God. It is dispelling the ego mind experience that you have with this person. Let's take this a little further. Any negative experience that is driven by the ego mind is part of the illusion and therefore not real. Your belief that it is real keeps it in your experience. Your soul and your God mind is moving you through these ego mind illusion experiences to assist you in practicing this principle. Every time you make the choice of God's reality and not the illusion, you are moving further up in your ascension process. The more you are becoming aware of these practice opportunities, the more you will begin to understand that they are just an illusion and therefore not real. Your surroundings, circumstances, and people will respond to your shift towards your God self and with that your practice will become easier. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure, always. I am Archangel Mikael and I bring you this truth. From TelosChannel.com 1212 Coming In And today from Divine Bro of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Solar Activity Continues a period of deeper clearing and introspection. Monday, April 15th, 2024. Dear friends, solar activity continues post-eclipse. It hasn't been extremely strong, but it's been consistent. Like a low fire that keeps transforming deeply our energy fields and bodies. Most likely we will see some higher solar activity in the next few days. Meanwhile, we keep integrating and clearing a lot of information post-eclipse, and our bodies are slowly but surely finding a new point of balance. As we move into the deeper layers of this alchemical process, our skeletal system may be showing some symptoms and a need for healing as well. This post-eclipse period of deeper clearing is also part of a process of self-discovery. We are all individually remembering our true spiritual essence. Also, the frequencies associated with this year, 2024, have been working non-stop directly in our bones and muscles. The 2024 energies of the year are asking us to stand strong, feel confident in our capacities, and move forward fearlessly. However, each of us may hold specific energetic and emotional barriers that could prevent us from achieving this forward movement and one of the key systems in our bodies that can feel weakened and or threatened by these emotional barriers is the skeletal system. Beyond the facilitation of movement and the protection of our brain, heart, and other organs from injury, bones represent our deep spiritual infrastructure of belief systems. The belief systems associated with fragile bones would then be mostly related to issues of low self-esteem, low self-confidence, fears of being alone and unsupported, resentment, fear of success, fear of failure, feelings of not being good enough, and of not trusting the universal truth of being protected by God's source. As we navigate these number eight energies during 2024, our skeletal system will be particularly sensitive to these energies. 144 flowing in. 
We are being challenged by the number eight frequencies to heal our belief systems related to our sense of empowerment and self-esteem. These issues have been reactivated by the recent eclipse corridor energies. The full moon in Scorpio on April 23rd will bring an extra layer of clearing energy, and we will then be ready to reach the 5-5 energy portal next month with a more solid and clearer vision about ourselves and our journey here on Earth. May you have a peaceful and blessed week. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com From Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba Beloved ones, as we continue our path of self-synthesis, merging polarities and healing the distorted masculine, damaged by eons of patriarchal manipulations and many other distortions that have devirtualized its authentic essence, we prepare ourselves to reclaim the divine masculine within us as we too embrace the female, proclaiming ourselves as unified beings. We have stepped into a new passage in which we are on an accelerated phase to regain our masculine and divine counterparts as the massive emerald, seraphim, ruby, and blue awakening continues to support the current planetary reconstruction that is taking place. The liquid plasma waves received since the beginning of this year, together with the eclipse energies and our cosmic monad transmissions, are helping us greatly in our work of masculine reconstruction. Asking for the closure of our previous relationships is essential to achieving this inner task. We need to cut energetic, miasmatic and psychic cords that are keeping us from becoming whole, healed, and beyond everything in charge of our energy and life force, so we own our bodies and energies. Only when we retrieve our original blueprint and cut all energetic cords that impede our union with our genetic equal or soul mate, depending on our unique mission and agreements, is that we will experience the authentic relationships that we are so eager to live. And for when we are still attached to old relationships, we cannot free ourselves to experience a major union, as both ties cannot coexist. For the first time in our human history, we can reclaim both our divine masculine and feminine essences, as due to the Earth's gate's major opening, we are now free to retrieve our authentic lineage and connection to our divine female and masculine energies. My guide shared about a month ago the importance of the unifying task the blue rays are achieving at this time in Earth's grids and especially in the Australian gate situated in a no-time-space zone portal, or zero-point, Uluru, the unifier, a location that is linked to all Earth timelines and Andromeda galaxy. This is a gate for us to reclaim the divine masculine, unifying it with our feminine divine essence, and repair the ego, mental, masculine body, and solar plexus of all egoic programs, as well as all the implants that remain in our mental body and that keeps our program to continue repeating the same old thoughts and habits. We may have as well self-created programs, especially through self-negative talk we need to remove. Previous to this inner work, Otherwise, we will continue to be programmed negatively. In this sacred space, we can travel remotely, for our consciousness, as you know, and light body can travel between time, space, and its corresponding dimensions. Asking for all masculine spiritual false programs to be immediately removed from our solar plexus, mind, physical, and non-physical bodies reclaiming the divine masculine within us and our authentic connection to God's source. As ascending souls, our main personal mission is to achieve unity within 12th dimensional original templates, reconnecting our light bodies before we can step into further ascensional stages. This is a time to reconcile our opposite polarities, bringing into our earth plane the same unity. We are heading into a wondrous portal of manifestation at all levels. 
as manifestation does not only invoke material things but the anchoring of more healing wisdom and power which is what allows us to expand in consciousness our personal galactic history and our mission of assistance within divine love and unity from nataliaalba.com and from divine sister of the light judith kusel the energies now are such that i am holding my breath as if i sense something huge is coming but cannot quite pinpoint exactly what it is almost like excitement waiting for the next huge breakthrough moment to occur and occur at will in the next few weeks yet it is nothing to worry about just something to embrace fully embrace as expansion is the key word for 2024 with all the energy centers opening the pyramids worldwide activated this means that we are beyond the ultimate point and now in the higher state of the new pivotal moment of being launched like a space rocket into orbit and fully into the fifth dimension and new earth with this earth changes will occur as all is in a state of immense flux and rebirth exasperated by the ongoing things happening in the middle eastern regions all that is happening is the last death throes of the old systems and whatever has been before as the consciousness levels rise more and more people's hearts open and they will indeed just simply refuse to engage in wars as unity consciousness replaces the old separation be aware that the best laid plans will run awry for all is unpredictable at the moment unstable yet at the same time there is a hidden order which is steering us ever higher into a totally new way of life and living it is so important to stay in the here and now for in truth it is all we do have and which we can creatively utilize from judith and today from divine sis star of the light carolyn 144 god code an opening is presenting itself today as a way forward follow your instinctual understanding that this is god's plan for you it is delivering greater balance and stability outside of the matrix time systems new clear knowing is offering confirmation and power to move forward two 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 coming in this may mean making plans to literally change locations or travel especially during the upcoming summer months Whatever decisions you are guided to make right now is because you have outgrown where you are. The difficulties and lessons are now behind you. A new fruitful foundation is available. This includes a new community and soul group. Take the time to formulate and understand this guidance. There is no rush. God's timing is perfect. It requires trust, listening, and taking daily action steps that will get you far ahead into this new beginning. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. Today brings us a conjunction between Mercury and Chiron and Aries. Mercury is still retrograde. The focus is on healing the past. It's important to see how much you have grown. Chiron is digging up old wounds. Expect a lot of emotional healing and clearing of karmic cycles. It's all about healing emotional wounds. It's about facing your fears and doing the self-work. Aries is a fire sign ruled by bold Mars. Today's energies are about healing your shadow side and working on yourself. Chiron gives you a chance to clear old pain so that you can step into your power. If you have unfinished business, expect it to be coming up. Today's energies are all about working in and healing any insecurities. Taurus season starts Friday and lasts until the 20th of May. It will be bringing some much needed grounding energy after the drama of eclipse season. Taurus is ruled by Venus and the focus will be on healing your love life and finances. We are still feeling and processing the aftershock of eclipse season. We are still feeling and seeing a lot of energetic changes playing out. You may still be feeling a little emotional, tired, or may be having intense dreams. We are moving into some major reset, moving into that next chapter energies. We are still doing a lot of clearing of anything not serving us as we are moving towards the new. 
Expect things to still be moving a little slow still until we shift out of Mercury retrograde on the 25th. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Colleen Lemma On Monday, April 15th, we have Mercury, the messenger, still moving through his review pattern of his current retrograde cycle and connecting with Chiron, the wounded healer, as they both move through Take Charge Aries. As Mercury rules the mental realm, we are consciously and subconsciously reviewing old wounds and traumas from this and other lifetimes that focus on healing the self. We are healing faulty thoughts, perceptions, and inner dialogue in regards to our self-confidence, self-identity, and self-assuredness. Even our ideas and plans that we may have previously set into motion are currently up for review. We are in powerful times with the eclipse energies and upcoming Jupiter-Uranus conjunction set for April 20th happening for today. Review, reflect, and release these energies that are no longer appropriate to hang on to in order to expand into the next phase of your soul growth and evolution. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com and today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. First quarter moon in Cancer. Mercury retrograde conjunct Chiron in Aries. The moon in cozy Cancer squares the sun in feisty Aries. The lunar part of us wants to stay safe under a security blanket. Perhaps we feel fragile, beaten down by all the talk of war, tired of battles, tired of having to always be doing instead of being. The solar half of us, however, fizzes with anticipation, longs to start an adventure, chafes at the emotional stuff that seems to threaten to snuff out our fire. It's imperative to take time out to reconnect with the emotional body before direct action. That way we can tune into our gut instinct, which tells us where to best place energy and effort. Be tender with yourself. Listen to your feelings. Take care of your mental health know where you belong. Never doubt that you are strong enough. Nothing can extinguish your inner flame. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 177, Red Galactic Earth. Galactic is the name for the number 8, and its keywords are harmony, integrity, and model. It's day 8 of the White Dog Wave Spell, but we won't go barking mad today. Galactic days seem to just go smoother, which is always a welcome break. This number reminds us to restore harmony in our lives. Luckily, this number comes around every 13 days. This is great practice to include in your routine. In fact, you could say the whole Zolkeen is about restoring harmony. We all live out of sync with time, and when we do follow these natural rhythms, it does create more harmony in our lives. It is yoga for time. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. It's a great combo of day and number as we harmonize to evolve. If you strive for harmony in your life, of course you will naturally evolve, but don't sit around waiting for this progress. You must make the effort. Look at what has been causing disharmony in your world and address these issues. The Red Earth offers us a chance to navigate our way forward as it is a harmonious number eight day, then navigating should be easy. Synchronicity is another key word, and that's because when we live with natural time, we find ourselves in the right place at the right time more frequently. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Galactic Earth, 8 Caban, Keen 177, 15th of April, 2024. Evolving through harmony. 15 4 2024 equals 6 4 8 equals 6 12 equals 6 3 equals 9. 3 6 9 Nikola Tesla code. Universal magic. Day codes 15 spiritual alchemy, charisma, joy. 6 heaven, Christ consciousness, harmony, love, romance. 9 completion, endings, closure, divinity, humanity, grace. Month year codes. Four form structure foundation earth angelic. 
8 infinite abundant source flow 12 acquiring spiritual strength wisdom 3 holy trinity joy communication creativity 2 twins partners cooperation alliances duality 20 the awakening clear vision 24 charisma happiness healing joy keen 177 equal 15 equal 6 heaven christ consciousness harmony love romance 1515 double happiness 66 heaven's gate 18 months ago two galactic spins keen 177 occurred on the 11th of november 2022 which was the 1111 twin flame portal and also the 22222 5d new earth peace portal this was a huge gateway for humanity pertaining to illumination twin flames and new earth this doorway was amplified through the 11-day passage until the 22nd of November 2022, which was the 2222 New Earth Portal on Keen 188. This is the day of the double yellow rhythmic star, when we are organizing our new world for beauty and harmony and the new time. This doorway is opened again today, particularly on the 66 Heaven's Gate and the 1515 Double Happiness Frequency. The door is open for all those illumined souls to walk through together to New Earth, reuniting with kindred souls and commencing new missions. The waxing crescent moon is in Cancer today, promoting soul family connections. This portal is brilliantly synchronized with the Red Galactic Earth, Keen 177 marking the right time. Prepare for accelerated evolution and more upgrades. This is it, beloveds. Today we are entering New Earth, building a foundation for peace, harmony, compassion, and greater love. Day 8 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we are integrating the past energies with our minds and evolving through the synchronicities to birth greater love. Tone of creation, galactic tone 8 in the mental realm, action modeling, power harmonize, essence integrity. The galactic tone will influence much mental analysis today. The most important factor is that we model integrity in our thoughts, words, and actions. We are modeling what it is to be a co-creator of this new world. Are our intentions based on harmony through integrity of being? We need to reflect on the messages from spirit and ensure that we are aligned in order to co-create more harmony and birth greater love in our world. Our plans need to be transparent and for the highest good of our community and planet for them to hold up in these new frequencies. Our projects and business models will then serve as a model for others following in our footsteps who hold the ideals of unity, peace, and harmony as a priority. At Tone 8 we have entered a new scale and we are so proud. We just have to model ourselves for others. We have also mastered harmony at this stage. We are galactic and don't we know it. The galactic tone is tone number 8, denoting source flow, so the synchronicities should flow in abundance today. A very fluid and harmonious code. 333 pulsing in, the triple trinity gate opened and activated. The galactic tone invites only those authentic souls who are modeling 5D consciousness to walk through this doorway into the new 5D world. The gatekeeper will check your ticket and ensure you are worthy and qualified to enter this new time. So beloveds, a beautiful feminine day today to herald in this momentous golden era through these doorways as the entrance to the new time. We are filled with new potential through listening deeply to our Pachamama, responding to the urge to birth the new highest potentials for her and all of humanity. Get ready to fly, swim, sing our way into heaven, now birthing here on earth. Keep your eyes wide open today and look for the signs. Today's question is, am I ready to evolve through synchronicity and walk through this magical doorway to birth your highest potential through higher love and integrity? Divine blessings for wondrous synchronicity and signs today. Look for the doors opening. 
Alleluia. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 177, Red Galactic Earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I harmonize in order to evolve. Modeling synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation. With the galactic tone of integrity, I am guided by the power of birth. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brother of the Light, Tarek Khalil, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Or if you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of Delight, Laura Jones Gardner, for your super thanks donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful divine invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Saskia Nahara. Invocation to Water in the name of the heart of source, under grace, and in the light of my mighty I am presence, I hereby decree all waters of Mother Earth rise into pristine crystalline purity of fifth dimensional frequencies. I decree all marine life forms be restored to their perfected original blueprint, and I invoke humanity to enter into conscious heart-based collective contact and communication with the cetacean nations, the record keepers, teachers, and avatars of unconditional love and wisdom of Earth's oceans. I decree the purity of fifth dimensional new Earth to be fully anchored in our collective physical reality and every single sacred drop of water on the planet as within the human body, including the waters of emotions, be the illumination of the love of Christ consciousness itself. And so it is. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.